In this video, we're going to learn about unit rates and how to calculate ratios from fractions. So let's start with a simple example. We have $6 for every three boxes of crackers. Well, whenever we're looking at a ratio or a fraction, we're looking at two different units. And in this case, we're looking at dollars per boxes. So if we know that it is $6 for every three boxes of crackers, well, we're just looking at six over three, which if we simplify it is two. So that gives us a rate of $2 per box of crackers or our, as our ratio as a fraction would be $2 per box of crackers. So let's try another example. Again, we're looking at ratios and we're looking at it in terms of a fraction. So we have money at the top and we have bags of apples at the bottom, right? So we're trying to look at, you know, for $3 for two bags of apples, we know that we have $3 on top we have two bags of apples at the bottom. If we simplify that, you know, we do get three over two. And we can leave it as three over two in some cases, or, you know, for this example, let's simplify that. So we know that three over two is equal to 1.5. Okay, so that means that one and a half dollars per bag of apples. Or we can see it as three dollars for every two bags of apples. Again, that is the ratio, and we can simplify that into a numerical answer as $1.50 per bag. Okay, now let's look at this example. We have five notebooks for every $7.45. Now our answer is asking for dollars per notebook. Well, that's where we get our ratio. So when we look at our ratio at dollars, and per, which we can use as a fraction sign, and the notebooks. So when we look at this example, we're actually seeing it backwards. We're not going to put five notebooks at top. We actually want to start with a 745 over five notebooks. So if we do our long math, or if you have a calculator, we can do it with a calculator. And we will get that this is 152.4. It's going to be a 4, so that's going to be 20 minus that, which is 4, 5, so 9, so it is $1.49 per notebook. And now let's try this example. So again, we have 2 pounds of broccoli for 252. Now our ratio, or the way that our answer wants it to be, is in dollars per pounds. So dollars per pounds. Okay, well let's see, we have 252 for the dollars. We have 1.2 for the pounds. So we can do long division, or if you have a calculator and your teacher allows it, we can do it that way. So we're going to have 2, which is going to be 24, and 1, 2, it's going to be 1. So it is going to be 21 cents per pound. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at this, not in decimals, but in terms of fractions. So we have a half a gallon of orange juice every three days. And our answer wants it in gallons per day. So we know that our ratio is going to be in gallons per day. So if we have gallons, we have one half of a gallon divided by every three days. So we can also write this now in terms of one half divided by three. And if we change that to multiplication, it'd be one half. And remember, we take the reciprocal and change this to a multiplying sign. So if that's a reciprocal, right? Three over one, we're going to flip this. And if we flip that over here, it'd be 1 over 3. So now we have 1 half times 1 third, which is equal to multiplying across. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So keeping this as a fraction, we eat 1 six gallons per day. 
Okay, well now let's try this one. Again, we're looking at a ratio. A ratio, our answer will tell us that it is in miles per hour. So we know that it is going to be in miles per hour. And it looks like we did four miles over one half of an hour. So we have four divided by one half. So we can rewrite this as four divided by one half. And we can change this to multiplication by going four times and then doing the reciprocal, which is just flipping these two signs. So the two goes on top, the one now goes on bottom. So we have four times two, which is eight, over one times one, which is one, which simplifies to eight. So eight miles per hour is our ratio. Okay, now let's try this one. So again, we have miles per hour. So our ratio is gonna be miles per hour. And it looks like this one, we have one half of a mile. So we'll put one half on top. And for the hours, you get one twelfth of an hour. So one over 12. Okay, so we can rewrite this. We know that we have one over two divided by one over 12. So we can rewrite this as one over two. Instead of, we can change this from division to multiplication. And when we do that, the second one is gonna be a reciprocal, so we flip it. So the 12 was on the bottom, now the 12 goes on top. The one was on top, now it goes at the bottom. So we have one over two times 12 over one. Now we can multiply this straight across, but I always find that it's easier to simplify. So we can simplify something that's on top and the bottom. So since even though we have a one here, we can still simplify from the two and the 12. So 12 goes into two six times, two goes away, it turns to one. So we have one times six over one. So our answer is six. So six miles per hour. All right, now let's try this one. So again, we have our ratio, and we can see the way that it wants a ratio by looking at the answer. So it wants it in liters per minute. So we have liters on the top per minute. Okay, well we have three tenths of a liter. So we have three over 10 divided by nine over 20 for the minutes. So we can simplify this out now so we have three over 10 divided by nine over 20. And we can change that from three over 10, change this to multiplication. Then we reciprocate this, right? We flip this around. So the 20 goes on top, the nine goes on the bottom. And now we can cross simplify. So we can say this three and the nine goes into three, uh, nine three times. 20 goes into 10 two times. So now we have two over three. So our answer is two over three liters per minute.